going from Corby to Pancras and Cecil. Hello guys, welcome to the latest episode of Big Trip and today I am at Harlington on the Midland Main Line and about to pass through is an East Midlands train service to Sheffield from London St Pancras. Triple two, double O four. So yes, today I am at Harlington. Uh, today we'll be seeing services from East Midlands Trains and also Gavir Thameslink Railway in the brand of Thameslink. So, yes. Uh, I've, I have um, filmed here before. The last time I filmed here we were in absolutely torrid weather conditions. Um, so this time we're not. We're in beautiful weather conditions. This is the opposite of what happened last time. So, um, again, if you do wish to check out any real time updates on trips and posts, please do check out my Facebook group. The link is in the description. So without further ado, let's see what's on offer here, shall we? Let's get started here at Harlington. All right, arriving now is the 1234 Thameslink service, 700 to Gatwick Airport. There's that one arriving. Right, passing now is another Meridian, and as the Thames Link service goes. Triple two oh one five, departing is seven hundred one one six, and also passing is another Meridian heading to Nottingham. Triple two one oh three. That's to Nottingham from London St Pancras. Arriving here, sorry, is 700-148. That is a Thameslink service from Brighton to Bedford. There's that one. Alright, the part now is going to be uh, the 1236 Thameslink service to Department Bedford from Brighton. And that's 700 148. Alright, passing through there is triple two oh one eight. It's heading on an East Midlands train service from Sheffield to London St Pancras. Another brilliant pass from East Midlands trains. Right, arriving now is a twelve fifty Thameslink service to Bedford from Gatwick Airport. Seven hundred one five two. Yeah, evidently. Right, now it's the 1250 Thameslink service to Bedford and arriving is the 1248 Thameslink service to Brighton. Arriving now 
driving is 70107, which is the one with the very tiny numbering, but it's on the other side, so you won't see it this time. There, that one goes. And there's 70107. We'll see this one leave in a minute. Right apart, and there's 70107. That's the uh, 1248 Thameslink service to uh, Brighton from Bedford. So there goes that one. That one, I should say. Just had something buzzing my face then. Very interestingly. So, um, I will have question of the video very shortly, so listen out for that. Right, passing through now is a HST from Nottingham to London St Pancras. That was easily the friendliest tone I've ever seen. That was definitely not for any other reason. 4366 was the rear of it, didn't get the front. Did you get the front, Rob? 073. 073 and 066, that one was. What a brilliant four tone that was. That was so nice. He gave us a wave as well, that was really nice. I like that, that was good. So there it goes. Okay, passing through now is an East Midlands train service to Sheffield from London St Pancras. And that was triple two oh one nine. Okay, arriving now is the thirteen oh four Thameslink service from Bedford to Brighton, seven hundred one oh four. This is the one that brought us in to Harlington. And passing through is going to be an East Midlands Trains HST to uh, Nottingham from London St Pancras. Forty-three oh five four and forty-three oh five eight. That looked like a um, one of the refurbished sets as well. So it looked quite refurbished, or just very clean. I'm not too sure. I don't even think they refurbished them. But look clean anyway, that's the main thing. Right, apart now is a 1304 Thameslink service to Brighton. That's heading over to uh, Brighton from Bedford via Gatwick Airport. Alright, passing through now is a service from Corby to London St Pancras. Sorry, from Sheffield, because that's triple two double five. I doubt that's going to come coming from Corby. Oh, that's a quite a long set. I'll have a look in a minute. But actually, I think that's from Sheffield to London St Pancras. All right, arriving here, seven hundred oh four six. That's the uh, thirteen oh six Thameslink service to Bedford from. Uh, I presume Brighton. I'll have a look in a minute. I think this might be Gatwick Airport or Brighton. Right, apart now is 1306 Thameslink service to Bedford from Brighton. Uh, 
that's calling it Flittick and Bedford. Right, so question of the video time is actually something of me and Alex here. Say hi. Hello. Anyway, no. It's something me and Alex were talking about last night because um, we were planning a trip, uh, the strip and other stuff. So the question that I have is actually quite an interesting one. So um, between Flittick and Bedford, we said that, that Flittick and Bedford sort of had a distance where there was like no other stations in between it. Um, but can you name another um, basically section, let's say two stations, where between them there's quite a long distance in terms of journey time. So can you name basically um, a route between two stations, so you can say this station to this station, but it has to have, a, I'm going to say, I'm going to set a bit of criteria here, it can't be, it can be 10 minutes or more of journey time. So it has to be 10 minutes or more in terms of the distance between the two stations. It doesn't matter, um, and just to set other criteria as well, the um, one of the stations has to be a starting point for the actual like service. So I'll give you an example there. Bedford is a starting station because it's starting on the route. Flittick is the next station. There's 10 minutes between them. So basically, can you name um, a route or a service at the starting station? And then can you name uh, the next station along the line? But any that have a long distance of Question. time. Yes. Does the underground count? No. Oh. Actually, uh, yes, I'll let it count. Any, the underground will count, so will any metro systems. Okay. But So, just to clarify the question, I'll give you an example again. Bedford is Bedford's the start of the service, so that's the first station the, the service begins at. Flittick is the next station along. There's a 10 minute distance. It's journey time. Can you name another, can you name another two stations that are very similar to that? but it can be more than 10 minutes. So there you go. Bit complicated, but hopefully you work it out. Right, I'm gonna make it a bit easier for you guys. Let me rephrase the question. Can you name uh, a route between two stations that has a long journey time? So 10 minutes or more, simple as. Doesn't have to be a starting station, it can be any two stations. The distance between two stations, that is 10 minutes or more. There you go. All right, passing through there was triple two zero twelve on the East Midlands train service to Corby. Brilliant pass. Okay, arriving now is the thirteen thirty two. Oh, sorry, thirteen twenty even. What am I on about? Thameslink service to Gatwick Airport from Bedford, seven hundred one four eight. And approaching is the 1319 Thameslink service to uh, Bedford from Gatwick Airport. 700145. Brilliant two tone. Right apart now is the uh, 1319 Thameslink service to Bedford from Gatwick Airport. And that's 700-145. So a few more trains to film and then we are done here at Harlington, but uh, we've got a few more trains to film yet, so still wait out for that. Right, we're passing through now, I believe it's going to be an East Midlands Trains Meridian from... Yep, here, here it comes. This is from Corby to London St Pancras. Also passing through, we have a GBR F66 working from Pearly, Pearly R to Barden Hill which is actually coming through now. Look out for the Meridian in the background, guys. Meridian will be in the background. 66, 750. 
750. And triple two oh two one went through from Corby to London St Pancras. So there goes those two. All right, passing through now. We've got a Meridian East Midlands trains heading to Sheffield. There's like two of them actually. Yeah, it is. Triple two one oh one and triple two oh two two there heading through to Sheffield. So yeah, um, I think actually with yeah with that in mind, when that one goes through well, with that one going through, I'm gonna finish the video from Harlington here. So thank you all for watching this video from Harlington. If you have liked what you've seen here, please like and subscribe. Please leave them in comments because we'll get back to them as and when I can. And any recommendations are welcome, so please leave us in the comments. Joining me today was Rob's public transfer videos and trains around Kent, so do check out their channels. Uh, but this station, much, 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 much better than last time. Because uh, for a start, it hasn't really rained. And secondly, the station is pure brilliance, even in the rain. Um, I love this station. It is by far one of my favorites in the country um, because of the fact of the views, everything about it. Ah, it's pretty hot. That's twice you've done that now. My phone was in my pocket. It's absolutely remember him doing that from St Denny's if you heard him like in pain he's just done it again um, so yeah Harlington definitely one of the best my favorite stations in the country um, because of the fact it's just purely brilliant it's not got great variety because it's obviously got 700 and really into HSTs and we had a bit of freight so it actually wasn't as bad as what it could be but regardless of not much variety you don't really need to worry about that with the views it's got and you could just spend forever here you could actually just sit here peacefully just sit on a bench have some lunch and if you just like watching trains and you can just do that because it is nice it's nice one of those chilled out times it really is a good station and even alex here, who hate he, he doesn't film anymore what? also said he liked the station yeah of course I do. so there you go then so um the next station for me is uh, another one that's going to be refilmed because uh, because of the bad weather from bedford so i shall see you all there Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all at Bedford and expect a hopefully long video from that one because the last time it's about 20 minutes I'm probably going to aim for about 35-40 minutes on this one because obviously it's quite a busy station so and there's a lot to see so um, we'll see how we go though because you might not end up with that but we'll see um, it'll, be a, it'll be more than last time I can tell you that so thanks for watching see you at Bedford goodbye